What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So everybody's always looking for those hidden gems, right? They're looking for hidden gems within the crypto market. And a lot of people that I see that are looking for these hidden gems are looking in the top 100. And I have recently moved outside of the top 100 to find a lot of these gems, right? Gems are ones that you find, um, you know, within the dirt, deep within the dirt. You're trying to mine and you're trying to find all of these different, um, you know, crypto gems. And eventually you stumble upon one, right? You have to do a lot of digging, a lot of searching, but people want to just look at the first page and go, yeah, this one looks right. No, you have to search. You have to build your own scanners. You have to build your own screeners and just try and figure out what's the best method to find one of these gems, whether it could be um, a lot of volume within a low market cap coin, whether it could be something that's listed on an exchange that's had a very, very low market cap or, or whatever, right? We know that things can be delisted. We know that we could see less volume the next day. So what's really your strategy in finding these crypto gems? Well, all I know is that one of those crypto gems, if you wanted to get my opinion of it, one of those crypto gems is Jasmine coin. It's not something that's unknown. I feel like it has popularity. We've seen millions upon millions of dollars that have gone into it, but it's something that just sits different in a lot of the places that you can purchase it at, a lot of the places that you see it. And honestly, I want to talk about this because the road to being becoming a Jasmine millionaire will not be as difficult as the road of becoming a another cryptocurrency millionaire because of the potential that you have here. As people have maybe thousands of dollars invested into here and hold hundreds of thousands of Jasmine, maybe millions of Jasmine, this could be kind of that easiest road for you, but it really all depends on what you decide to do. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. And if you wanna follow me on Twitter or follow me on Patreon, those links are in the description. Now, don't forget about my Rumble uh, link, which is in the description as well. If you want to follow me on Rumble, uh, feel free to do so. And, uh, you know, that's basically another video service platform um, where I upload all the time. And we're currently at like 400 followers. So feel free to go and support me over there and, you know, follow away. But let's talk about Jasmine Coin a little bit. Before we get into what has happened today, what my overall um, amount is as well, uh, I think we need to just talk about kind of Jasmine Coin as a whole and why it's such a hidden gem. Now, Jasmine Coin for me is a hidden gem because of, of the label that a lot of people give it, the popularity that it has, the places where you can buy it, um, where it's listed and um, how it's observed, how it's viewed um, by many. And, you know, you look at just the understanding of, you know, data and how important data is. I feel as though once you have anything that's included in there that also has a little bit of popularity, that's where you start to get into that. It's just like getting into AI. Anything that has that's related to AI that has a little bit of popularity most likely will be very big within this bull market. Now, will it be the, the largest thing, right? Will you see everything um, that's related to AI move that way? No, you'll probably gravitate towards like the top three or the top five, depending on how many there are. But when it comes to data, you have certain projects that a lot of people move towards, that gravitate towards. Now, Jasmine Coin is currently standing at a level of 5323. Um, it's at uh, 53% of a penny, and we're seeing it up 2% today. It did go up to about the 55% of a penny level, which um, I'm up significantly on my investment since uh, it did you know, drop down to a level of uh, 30. Um, I have a price target or a price or cost basis, sorry, of 40% uh, of a penny. So I'm up $1,300, which I will show you uh, later today or later in this video. Um, but currently the market cap is at a $262 million market cap with $21 million worth of volume. The popularity is there. You're seeing about 8% of the volume to market cap ratio with $49 billion um, of a, a circulating supply or 49 billion of a circulating supply. Uh, looking at about 98%, 98.6% of the supply that's out there. So it's fully diluted, right? <clears throat> so with this position, 
I know it has a ton of potential in where it stands. If you look at where it's listed um, on, by market cap, it's on the second page. It's at 147. So it's out of the normal person's view to where they're going on coin market cap and they're like, oh yeah, let's look at all of these coins here. Let's see which one's the best. And they're only looking at the top 100, but then they neglect the other thousands of coins that are there with maybe massive amounts of potential, right? Um, so Jasmine coin being on the second page is kind of that starting point still at a higher level, but at that starting point of saying what is really going to blow up and what it's going to be worth, right? because you do see the belief. Now, the reason why it's up on the second page rather than being on the third page is because of the places that you can actually purchase it, um, seeing that you can actually get it on Binance, on Coinbase, on KuCoin, on um, you know uh, Bit, Bitfinex. You can get it on different places, right? 75 different pairings that you have for Jasmine coin. It's not something that's just depending on Binance, even though Binance does have a massive amount of volume. I think it's like $3.6 million worth of volume just from Binance to USDT. Um, but then Coinbase to US, uh, USD is about a million dollars as well. KuCoin also has about a million dollars. So Binance doesn't just hold all the volume. If anything does happen with Binance, which they've stated, though, it's an innovation zone and everything there. <clears throat> If anything does happen with Binance's volume, it would just flow to Coinbase and Kraken and all of those. Jasmine Coin is definitely a play that people probably need to take seriously. And there's a bunch of people that basically say, I will never get into Jasmine Coin. I don't believe Jasmine Coin, what it did in the beginning. It doesn't make sense, you know, dropping as far as it did. But you have to understand the dilution portion of it. Dilution within coins are a normal thing. You're going to see it in every project that you have unless they introduce all the supply right away. <clears throat> Anybody that has a foundation, any crypto project that starts out with with 5% or 10% of their supply, they're eventually going to dilute. They have a dilution process, whether it goes in the form of mining or in the form of just releasing. Even XRP has an escrow that they are releasing 1 billion coins per month. So it's a normal thing. And once you see it fully diluted, that's when it opens up the door for that opportunity. Good thing is Jasmine Coin released all of that in more of a bear market uh, during the bear market. And now you see 100% of the supply that's out there. So when it does get back to the all-time high market cap, as well as growing two, three, 10x higher than the all-time high market cap, you will see so much more. So again, Jasmine Coin just shows me the amount of potential that I want to see in a, in a project. Now, let's quickly go through my position to show you what I have. So in my uh, portfolio, <clears throat> I have uh, 1 million total Jasmine. I said that I would get to 1 million Jasmine. I have 1 million total Jasmine um, where my gains are sitting at $1,300 um, and 31 cents, or sorry, $1,331 and 52 cents with a cost basis. Again, as you could see, of 40% of a penny. It is 30% of my portfolio. I will continue to add uh, a lot more into other plays. But Jasmine Coin, I feel like I hit a good spot. I know there are people out there with 2 million and 3 million Jasmine, and that's fantastic. But you even look at this as a, at a level of a penny uh, or at a level of a dollar, and this is a $1 million balance for me and a $3 million balance for the next person and maybe even more for the next person. So Again, this shows so much upside. And what's the ability to get to some of these levels? I mean, you're looking at a $49 billion market cap. Again, I talked about uh, Terra Luna Classic in my first video and how that needs to get to a $58 billion market cap and how it can do it with popularity. I believe Jasmine Coin can do the same. So much popularity, so much availability, and um, so much upside. I feel as though we're going to see that happen. That's just my opinion. Again, this is not financial advice. You basically need to look at a lot of information that you do see. Jasmine Coin doesn't really put out a ton of new news, but when they do have news, it is something that, that moves, uh, the position, uh, a lot. So anyways, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Make sure you guys check me out on Rumble um, and you check out my Patreon, which the link is down below. But I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.